The Will You Grow Show goes live Sundays 9 to 10 a.m. Eastern. To receive notifications, click the subscribe button beneath this video or visit YouTube's Will You Grow channel to see more shows and videos. And now, here's Will You founder Angelique Meadow with this week's Will You Grow Show. Welcome to the Will You Grow Show. How are you? I'm Angelique, founder of Will You and WillYouGrow.com, an inspirational multimedia company that provides personal growth and joy through education, conversations, and adventures. We are back in the studio here in Tennessee in preparation for our second Sunday brunch, books, and tour date at Ancient Lore Village, which again is sold out. Yeah. Later, I'll talk with you about how to meet up with us on a future tour date. We are here in the studio today with our audio aficionado, Ben, and our video Santa, Neil. We're back! <laughs> Did you miss us? Hooray! Hooray. So today's show is the fourth of a series of shows about self-care and is titled, To Relieve Anxiety, Listen Within. If we're unaware of what's happening within us and do not know the truth of how we feel, what we need, and what we want, Anxiety can easily arise because this truth about us is being ignored. By being out of touch with what we are experiencing, we've abandoned ourselves. Although this experience of being unaware of what's happening within us may seem to be common, by learning to listen within, we can free ourselves from anxiety and experience peace and truth within. So the question is, are we willing to stop the drama? Because in order to allow ourselves to listen within, we need to be willing to stop being involved with dramatic situations. When we're wound up in drama, though it may feel intense and possibly exciting, all our energy is going into the drama, the play and the interplay between the people and things. And at this point, there is no focus no care and no attention on how we feel and what's happening within us. And some of us may even avoid becoming aware of how we feel within by staying stuck in the drama. So why do we want to be aware of what's happening within us? Because inner awareness relieves anxiety. Dr. Lori Haas and her team from the University of California in San Diego have found that individuals who maintain awareness can adapt more positively to stress. Quote, individuals who maintain awareness can adapt more positively to stress because if we avoid awareness mentally, body awareness is also lost. When this happens, we are unaware of the stress that builds and by the time it becomes noticeable, it is at a very high and usually overwhelming level, unquote. So what can we do to become more aware of what's happening within us? There are lots of methods of becoming aware of what's happening within us, such as breathing techniques, mindfulness, meditation, time communing with nature, and many more. Here are three quick and easy things that I do to stay aware of what's happening within me especially if I'm surrounded by drama. Are you ready? Here it is, and try it out for yourself. I stop, drop, and roll with it. This is how it works. Just like the fireman's motto to stop, drop, and roll our body to extinguish a fire, if our shirt is ablaze, rather than panic, scream, worry, complain, blame someone, gamble, beat someone up, eat, or head to the bar for a drink, we're advised to stop whatever we might be engaged in. Stop. Just stop. Then we're to physically drop our body down to the ground. Then we're to roll around on the ground until we put the fire out. So to apply this stop, drop, and roll motto to relieve our own overwhelm and anxiety, here are three steps that I take. One, stop placing our energy into people, situations, and our own thoughts that are dramatic and a waste of our energy. Let that soak in. I'll repeat that. We can stop placing our energy into people, 
situations and our own thoughts that are dramatic and a waste of our energy. For me, that means I don't put my energy into people, situations, and thoughts that do not nourish and grow my soul. Number two, drop our energy back into our own body and heart. When we're in the midst of drama, all our energy is focused on the drama if we are not connected within. When we realize that all of our attention, energy, and focus is out there on the drama, we can bring it back to ourselves. and I do this through focus. By becoming aware if I've allowed my energy to be placed in the drama, I then internally agree to end that and take it back to myself. I consciously breathe in and I wait until I can feel all the energy back into my body overall. And then I focus, not push, I focus, which is just inviting it back within my heart to feel it there. Three, roll with it. I roll into listening within. So let's talk about what it means to listen within. Listening within means checking in with ourself. What's initially needed to listen within is to have concern and care for how we are. This may feel like the way that we check in with friends and ask, how are you? Like the way I ask you in the beginning of the show, I mean that. How are you? We can ask the same question to ourselves, and then listen. If this is not the kind of relationship we have with our friends, we can ask ourselves, how am I? And then listen the way that we would to the most cherished person that we can imagine. So what does it mean? What does it really mean to listen? To listen means to be with. To be with. That means to be with our inner self. To be within. We need to know how to listen better to what's inside of us. So we may think that we know what it means to listen, but I'm willing to bet that many, if not most people, do not know what it means to truly listen. This might seem evident by looking at our social media and politics, etc. So let's talk about listening. We'll start by describing what listening is not. Listening is not asking a question and then seeking, judging, or fixing. None of those behaviors are listening. Those behaviors will actually shut the person down from talking and sharing their truth, even within us. So those ways of not listening will encourage us to hide who we are even from ourselves. Listening, true listening within, feels wonderful. And I can share that from my own experience because I didn't used to know how to listen to me either. It was always about everybody else. So listening within, when we truly do it, feels a lot like when I would approach someone that I love who might be ill in the hospital after surgery. So if we imagine that we are the one who has just had surgery, if someone else approaches us, their listening approach to us is gentle. It's caring. It's nurturing. It's observant. It's loving. It's supportive. It's easy. It's hopeful. It's kind. And this is how it can feel when we learn to listen within to ourself. And listening within relieves anxiety. Just as being visited by a loved one makes us feel comforted, supported, and protected, we can learn to relieve our own anxiety and suffering by listening to ourselves. Because no matter what we hear, even if we don't like what we learn within, 
the fact that we're listening still relieves suffering and anxiety. We don't need to do anything with what we're learning. We can simply be willing to listen with love. Next, I'll share three affirmations to help us listen within. Affirmations are loving words that we can say to ourselves to overcome feelings of unworthiness that we may have picked up along life's paths, and that feeling of unworthiness can block our ability to listen to ourselves with love. So by saying these words and fully feeling the highest meaning of them, we can change the way we see ourselves for the better. And that both relieves anxiety and makes our life and world a more loving and peaceful place to be. I say these words internally or aloud as needed. Let's say these together. There are three of them. Here's the first one. You ready? I do matter. Now we'll say it together. I I do do matter. matter. Did you feel it? Or did you say it? I think I said it. Good job for recognizing that, that self-awareness. Affirmations work best when we are on the same page with our thoughts and our feelings. So we thought the words, I do matter, but we didn't feel them. So what would it feel like if you really mattered? Good Uh, question, right? Yeah. Is is there an answer to that question? I mean, it would be different for each person. How you feel might be words like, valued, Mm -hmm. cherished, noticed. It might feel like a load's being lifted off of you, maybe. Yes. The load of anxiety anxiety. or whatever it is that... The load of constantly worrying about other people and things. Mm -hmm. What about for you, Ben? Anything comes to mind of how it would feel when you do matter? Heard, Mm. acknowledged. Do you notice how both of you, it's like your your heart kind of expanded. I could feel the energy of what shifted in your own awareness. Can you feel that physically in your body, how it shifted? Thoughts are usually up here. I don't don't feel it right now. Not not to say that I won't. Mm Mm-hmm. If I keep internally saying that to myself, I do matter. Maybe it'll. Did you feel anything when you said how it would feel when you felt it? When like, I was talking about when, when you were cool, yes. lifting the weights up. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. what I'm asking. Personally, that just happened with me giving up something. And now a weight's lifted. And I don't have to worry about that. Okay, very good. So this is what we'd keep in mind when we say affirmations. Mm-hmm. We're not we if, sure. if we can say the words, yeah. which is all good and fine, but if in here we don't really believe those words, it's kind of like when someone's talking at us and we don't really believe them. It's just like, you know, whatever, <laughs> right? It's just one more thing to do, say an affirmation. It doesn't really work that way. Right. So in order to plant this seed within us, we need to plant the seed of feeling in our heart of what it feels like to feel like we matter. So this time we're going to say the affirmation again. And when we do, I'd like you to hold the feeling of, for you, Santa Neil, relief, because you Mm -hmm. said you'd feel relieved. And for you, Ben, acknowledged and heard. Hold that feeling in your heart while you say these words, I do matter. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. On three. One, two, three. I, I do, do matter. matter. Wow, what a shift. It's more matter of fact, and, you know. True, yeah. right? I felt, yeah, yes. I, I felt a little, yeah, I felt a difference, especially in the way I, we said it, each one of us. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Okay, affirmation number two. Yep. I'll say it first and then we'll say it together. This time, as you hear these words, imagine how it feels to feel this way. 
and hold that feeling in your heart as you say the words. The affirmation is, I am worth listening to. Again, it is, I am worth listening to. And on three, we will say this again and feel it all at the same time. Here we go. One, two, three. I, I am, am worth, worth listening, listening to. to. I nice. tell my daughter that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Third affirmation. I am important. I am important. I, I am important. important. I felt that one. Yeah. You are important to us, Neil. <laughs> you are important to us. <laughs> What You're did all you... important to me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What did you feel? I felt important. I felt important. I really, I, the the words rang true in my brain, in my head, and in my heart. And that's something I'm not trying to label it in any way. That's probably something not very. Well, you yeah, know, it is very male to think that. I guess very arrogant can be. You appear to be more afraid that you could come across as arrogant. Thank you. And that's than... another issue. Worrying about other, you know, how you appear to other people. Right. Which I don't. So I don't know why I put it that way. Because I really don't. If you didn't, you I mean. wouldn't say it. I know. So maybe there's some deep... Repressed... <laughs> <laughs> unworthiness and that's okay it, you know that we all have it it's just a matter of where is it right until we are completely enlightened we have spots in us that feels unworthy and that's what these affirmations are for so what you just encountered right here mm -hmm. actually is a uh, a positive thing any resistance mm. that we feel towards the affirmation um, anything that comes up like i'm afraid to say this because i'm afraid i'm going to come across as arrogant that lets us know, oh, there's something in this that I need to know about myself. What can I learn about this for me so that I can actually believe these words that I'm saying? And the ability to oh, get, get what you are feeling, that you you know, understand that, oh, I don't need to be feeling that way. So let's say the affirmation and mean it. Right. And feel it. Right. Right. So even as we're talking mm -hmm. about these things, stuff is processing. Sure. You're on a soul level. It's not just about the thoughts. It's just not about the feelings. It's shifting the way that your <clears throat> soul sees itself. That means a lot, these affirmative words. And I've got my card decks at home. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> You've got yours. Shuffle through the card decks. The yes. Card decks. Yes. Thank you, guys. So though these words may be small, their impact when said as needed is beyond measure. Personally, I've said these words to myself for at least two years, and I still say these words to myself nearly every day. And I still feel that I'm growing to know that this is completely true for me. So to wrap things up, rather than avoiding what's within, we can create a caring, safe, inner place to listen and provide ourselves with care. By doing so, we neither look to others nor lean on them to care for us. This allows us to feel noticed, appreciated, respected, and cared about by ourself. And by caring for ourself, Rather than looking to others to care for us, we can simply share love with others rather than needing something from them. So will you? I encourage you to give yourself the peace and safety of listening within. By doing so, you will always know that somebody cares. Let us know how applying today's concepts works for you. We enjoy hearing from you. Let us know in the comments section. And join us here next week here on The Grow Show for more tips on self-care. And we'll keep you posted down in the description box to let you know if we'll have another brunch, books, and tour date at Knoxville's Luxury Resort and Event Center, Ancient Lore Village in Knoxville, Tennessee. It was so fun. I hope we can do it again. And now we'll be heading off to today's sold-out event at the Village. We wish you a wonderful weekend and we bid you adieu. Always with love from Angelique.
You can heal with words, ease anxiety, create peace, hope, and love within with these elegant new hardcover affirmations books, card decks, and journals by Angelique Meadow, founder of Will You and WillYouGrow.com. Inside the Affirmations books and card decks, you'll find heartwarming photos alongside consciousness-raising words that generate feelings of comfort, happiness, and joy. With easy guided instructions and a new affirmation each week, you'll uplift your spirits and allow your mind rest for months and years to come. If you like to write, these 200-page Will You Grow journals come in 11 gorgeous silk matte finish hardcover styles allowing ample space to pop the cork on your thoughts and feelings and pour them onto the page. Uplift and support your health, freedom, and joy today with the Affirmations books, card decks, and journals by Angelique Meadow, knowing that your purchase supports you and charitable organizations for old growth trees, clean water, and scholarships. Get your Affirmations books, card decks, and journals now at willyougrow.com and amazon.com. For more information about programs offered by Will You, Mentoring with Angelique, and to watch video success stories from clients, explore willyougrow.com. If you or your company are interested in inspiring our mutual audience by sponsoring this or another of our programs, let's talk about it. Boost viewer confidence and trust in your company. Call 1-833-WILL-YOU, then press extension number 6. Make sure to click the subscribe button to get reminders before upcoming shows.